Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and a continuing series on the Mr. FPGA DE10 Nano Board. And today we're taking a look at the AO486 core, which is emulating a 486SX processor and giving us a full DOS installation to play some of those classic DOS games we know and love so much. Before we get too far into the other, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down there as well. But I love checking this core out because even though I have an old DOS PC as part of my collection, this is much more convenient plugging into my TV than that old computer. Now to get it set up, all you need to do is go into games and you go under the AO486 folder and there's a file set on archive.org top 300. This is a full virtual hard disk installation to give you 300 of what would be considered the best DOS games around, both floppy disk and CD, which is absolutely incredible. I can't link it here, but just go on archive.org and search it and you will find it. It's going to take some time to get over to your SD card because it is quite big, but I also recommend the Top 300 Updater. This will solve any small problems as they continue to update the games in the package. It doesn't require you to you know, move over another 60 gigabytes into your SD card, so I'll leave the link here and it gives you directions on how to install that script because it is quite useful. When you first boot up the core, it's just going to say fatal, no bootable device. If you're not familiar with DOS, this is not surprising at all. It just means it can't find anything to boot. So what we're going to go down into here is we're going to mount virtual hard drives. The first one is the boot DOS98.vhd. That is going to be the boot drive. And then we're going to set the secondary drive to the top 300 DOS games. That way the boot disk will boot up DOS. And then once you hit enter and pick your memory status, it'll give you that installation hard drive just click reset and you'll see the screen flash very quickly that's real time and it'll give you a setup menu for windows 98 just pick high ram it'll be perfectly fine if you're not familiar with dos there's a lot of different memory states you could choose but once you do that you're going to see this entire list of games available for you to play the ones with hearts next to them can be problematic and they are working on fixing those so try to stay away from the hearted entries that's not the maker of this vhg's favorite game it's indicating that there are slight issues or large issues with them that'll prevent you from playing them correctly. But there's a ton of awesome games in here and let's just pop something in and something that everyone is gonna try to play because the question is always, does it play Doom? And the good thing is it is yes. Just pick the start.bat file and I select Sound Blaster because that's what I like to play with back in the day. And you'll see here in basically real time, I cut out about 10 seconds, we are going to be right into Doom. And it runs really, really well on the AO486 core. The speed is slightly slow. And what I recommend doing, you'll see in a second, is I just make the screen size slightly smaller by hitting the minus button like you used to do back in DOS. Because I play this in 4K on my 70 inch Samsung TV. So shrinking the screen down a little bit, getting it to run, is still going to be a massively large Doom window for you to play with. But otherwise, it's the Doom that you know and love, and being able to play this on Mr. is absolutely outstanding. I love that they decided to emulate that 486 processor with an FPGA chip, because DOS games are some of the best games from back in the day, outside of consoles, obviously, and keeping around old computers just to play DOS games. I enjoy it, but it does take up a lot of space, and maybe you don't want to do the same thing. So having this core available is absolutely amazing, and as far as at least Doom's concerned, it runs really well. I played the first few levels and didn't have a single issue with it whatsoever. But like I said, it can be a little bit slow, so if you don't remember how DOS games work, the plus button makes the screen bigger the minus button makes the screen smaller and if you make the screen smaller it's going to run faster because it's not pushing as many pixels at any given time so just go ahead and hit that minus button once and i think doom runs perfectly smooth at that your results may vary just depending on what level you're on so you can always hit minus a second time and make the screen ever so slightly smaller if you go under audio and video, we can change the aspect ratio. I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. And you have a lot of different options there for the V-Sync, different scale options, V-Integer, narrow HV integer. You can adjust these however you want. I just leave everything as normal because that's how I think it looks the best to me. And like I said, it can be ever so slightly slow. And if you think you need it a little bit faster, just shrink the screen size because on your TV, it'll still be huge. But if we move over to something like Rise of the Triad, an earlier game, this runs at perfect speed with a full window. It's exactly the Rise of the Triad I know and love. And it also sounds exactly like it should. Go ahead and listen for about 30 seconds and I'll come back and tell you more. Oh. 
So yeah, as far as Rise of the Dragon is concerned, it sounds incredible. And you'll see here, we can up the volume level as well. I find the AO46 core is a little bit quiet, at least on my TV and capture setting, but we do have the audio boost option that might be helpful to you. But you'll just see we have all these different settings in here we can play with. But if you want to pick a new game, just go ahead back to the main menu. You can play around with the different RAM sizes, but you just click reset and apply HDD, and it's going to bring you right back to this launcher so we can pick something else to try out. That's the quickest way to do it, and I've had no issues with it whatsoever. And moving on, we're going to check out Jazz Jack Rabbit, another classic DOS game made by Epic, the people that would go on to make Unreal. But this is another game that I played a ton of as a kid because I think I got this free with a sound card when we got a new computer. I definitely remember it was a free game and I wasn't sure what it was and definitely fell in love with it. And it is perfect here on the AO46 core. The speed runs really well. Now, the one thing I can recommend is I always check the key assignments because every DOS game is different and unlike the console cores, each game can do something slightly different with the keyboard. So go ahead and just make sure that you're checking your settings on each individual game because it can get a little bit tricky and you can end up not knowing what keys to hit if you switch games. But again, I love the sound on this because it sounds kind of crappy, which is how Jazz Jackrabbit used to sound back in the day. So listen for 20 seconds and hear the sound quality so you know it does definitely sound like a DOS game. So yeah, Jazz Jackrapper sounds exactly how I remember it sounding, which is to say a bit muffled, but that's just part of the game. But Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis here, every once in a while you're going to notice a few little bugs, and it seems like just restarting the core from fresh seems to alleviate 9 out of 10 of them. Because the mouse cursor here, you know, selecting things is working fine when I start, but the minute I get towards the edge, it just becomes unresponsive and I can't scroll that indicator cursor anywhere outside of the edges of the screen without having a lot of issues. But like I said, just restart the core, and when I did it for Fate of Atlantis, everything worked perfectly fine after that. But I absolutely love this core, and if you can't tell already, I'm just showing you the type of games I loved playing back in the day, point and click adventure games, first person shooters, and now and then a platformer. But Sam and Max Hit the Road here, made by the same company LucasArts on the same underlying technology, I have no issues with the mouse. So it's definitely just maybe a configuration issue with the individual game in this pack, and that's why I recommended you update you know, that script. Download it, make sure it's updated. A lot of these problems, if they're not already fixed by the time I'm showing you this video, they Will probably be fixed pretty soon. Some things just don't work though, and again, I don't think it has anything to do with the core. Duke Nukem constantly freezes for me. The minute I drop down here from the rooftop and do anything, the game just becomes unresponsive. Now, Mr. is running in the background perfectly fine. That's not frozen, and you can pull the menu up as you'll see here shortly, but for some reason, Duke Nukem 3D just doesn't like to play nice. And if you go over to something like Hexen right now, it works perfectly. And that may just be an issue with 3D Realms and the build engine versus id games and their id tech. Because it's just one of those things. When you used to own a DOS computer, things just love to freeze. Things just love to not work. When you were into computers back then, even if I was just a kid, I loved playing with them. It was a lot of struggle getting things to run, and for some strange way, this core reminds me of that because you really do need to understand the settings. And I will leave a link in the description below if I remember just talking about basic DOS settings for DOS games because it wasn't just pop it in and play back then on computers. It took a lot of energy. It's not as easy as Steam is today where it just installs and basically everything runs perfectly fine for you. But I can't say enough good things about this core because while I do have a DOS computer, hauling that out to my TV, hooking it up to a scaler and getting a signal in is a lot of work because it's a big old beige box. Now putting the Mr. next to my TV and getting it upscaled to 4K, some of the scaling from Mr., some of it from my TV, this is absolutely incredible to play on my couch and I love it. But leave me a comment down below. What's your favorite DOS game from back in the day? I love hearing what you guys played because now you can see what I like. But if you have any issues setting the core up, leave me a comment. I'll do my best to help you. We will be back next week with more Mr. Content. I'll have videos throughout the week as well. But short of that, thanks so much for watching, guys. Do me a huge favor. Go down below, hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell. Definitely helps me out. And I'm going to continue to go hunt down you-know-who here. But we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.